Hello everybody, my name is Collective Unconscious, and this is a Havana map. Uh, I usually don't do too well on this map, but uh, I seem to have gotten 32 and 6 in this round, which is pretty good for me on this map. Uh, recently, I've just been using my kill streaks as 8, 9, 11 every time, because uh, for some reason, when I have the 8, 9, 11 kill streak, it just gives me the determination to get the kill streak that much more. And, I always just seem to do a little bit better when I have this kill streak this set up this way. I used to have napalm strikes and UAV all the time, but uh, it seems like a lot of the newer players use UAV a lot, so I usually just let my teammates deal with that, and I uh, I try to ignore UAVs because unless I'm playing hardcore, then it's kind of necessary. I feel like, but. Uh, uh, yeah, this map, I try to play a little more cautiously. I usually just try and hold some of the alleyways and make sure I know what's going on because uh, if you run around in the middle of this map or if you don't run in the alleys, you're probably going to get shot from some lane or somewhere you didn't realize that there's a guy there. And, ooh, I actually want to point this out to this death right here. I thought this was a great spot to look over this little ledge, but... I was mistaken. There's a guy that comes around this corner. And he can see my like half, like my entire upper body. Whereas when I see him, all I can see is a little blip of his head. And it's pretty Enemy interesting how the angles work in this game sometimes. Like that, like right here, here it is. I've seen that's the tiniest blip of his head. And let's see if I can go to his India Prime. Is this guy's name? <laughs> I think this guy killed me every time. This, all my deaths came from this one guy. Let's see, where is he? Right there, India Prime. Okay, yeah, see. Look at this. He can see pretty much my entire body, my upper and body, and all I saw was a little blip of his head. I don't know, it's just certain angles like that you just gotta be aware of. Like, you shouldn't be... Even though I had the upper ground right there, it seemed like I had the advantage, but... I really didn't because of that angle issue where you could see my body, but I couldn't see his. <coughs> oh, I'm fighting off the cold right now. I'm sorry, guys. Here's that pillar right there, it's indestructible because I definitely had some shots on that guy and they just weren't registering. That's one thing about this game, you can run through it, this level, and you can run through a level a hundred times and still not know everything about the level because there's just certain things that are indestructible and certain things that aren't. <coughs> Seems like every time I play this game I always learn something new, a new little trick or... I know when I watch the top players, like, obviously I'm going to say C-Nanners again, because he's probably the most popular Call of Duty player right now. It's, all his videos have like a million views, but anyways, uh, you always learn something new when you watch their videos. And, uh, there's just so much about this game that I like, and then there's so much about this game that I dislike, too. It's... It's like a love-hate relationship thing I have going on with this game. And there's, there's a India Prime guy guy. I was happy to kill him after he killed me. And <clears throat> so, I guess last video I already talked about the bugs in this game. I don't really want to talk about that again. Hmm. <clears throat> so this whole game, or at least up to this point, seems like we're losing pretty bad. 800, I guess it's not terrible, but I always feel so proud when I do well and then I look at the score at the end of the game and it's like, yeah, we would have lost that game if I didn't do so well. It just adds a little, it's like a little cherry on top when that happens. So, uh, 
Those are guys January. I know. January seemed like it went by really fast. It seems like it was New Year's. New Year's I went to uh, my friend's wedding. It was a uh, that was a little fun event. New Year's and and a wedding at the same day. Open bar. <laughs> uh, I had quite a few beers. Probably like eight or nine beers and. I'm not a heavy man, so like, I weigh like 140, six foot two, eight or nine beers. That's that's about the most I can drink in one night. Somehow, I still manage to know my limit almost every time. My friend, friend Dave, he just every time he I drink with him, he always convinces me to drink water every time I drink a beer. So it seems like whenever I hang out with him. And I drink a lot, I almost never get a hangover. I, that's one thing I learned back in my early college days. What your limit is and just don't go past it because throw it up. That's that's not a good time for anybody. You look like an idiot and you feel like one too. <laughs> it's just no good. So if you're gonna be drinking a lot, make sure you pace yourself, drink some water. Uh, I don't know how I got off on that tangent. New Year's wedding, yes, that was it. But uh, January, that was a pretty fun month. I was played quite a bit of disc golf in the winter time. It's probably my favorite thing to do out so outdoors right now is disc golf. It's like uh, it's just so peaceful when you go out there and you can just be outdoors with nature and just throwing a disc around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought that was funny, my crate killed that dog. <laughs> Sorry, little puppy. <laughs> oh, that poor dog. <coughs> hmm. What do you guys think about the Valkyrie rockets in this game? Uh, I still really figure them out. I've only used them like 10 times. and I know you can explode them at will, but I haven't really figured out. Can you slow them down or not? I know you can speed them up. But can you also slow them down? Seems like that would be a useful feature to have to slow them down a little bit more than they are, but then I guess slowing them down any more than they are already would they wouldn't really fly too well. Uh yeah, I'm not a big fan of Valkyrie Rockets. You gotta any kill streak where you gotta like sit still for a long time and expose yourself. And it's just like, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like that great of a kill streak. Ah, uh, oh right there, that was, I had a weird lag spike right here. And when I fire right there, it looks like I on my screen, he was right there. And it turns out, in fact, that he ran past me and knifed me. Uh, I play on a wireless connection, so I actually get quite a few lag spikes here and there. So when I get high scores like that, I feel like... I did extra well because I know that if I had a solid connection, a wired LAN connection, that uh, I'd probably do better a lot of times because sometimes I'll get lag spikes and I'll fire off an entire clip and then I'll see the kill cam and it looked like I only fired three or four shots. It's just, wireless is just so unstable. I would not recommend it. If you can avoid it, do, do that, but in my current situation, uh, wireless is necessary. Mm. So I don't, I don't know what I was talking about anymore. My topic has changed like 20 times this commentary. Uh, I'm just gonna let the end of the match come and so I'll talk to you guys later. Our cannot be challenged. 